Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, I am thrilled to have you join our growing community of enthusiastic learners. Today, we have a new exciting series lined up for you, Introduction to C Sharp. In this module, we'll be diving into the fundamentals of C Sharp programming and exploring its history and setting up our development environment to get started on this incredible journey. So without further ado, let us jump in. To start things off, let's take a moment to discuss what this course is all about and what you can expect. C Sharp is a powerful and versatile programming language developed by Microsoft. It was first released in the year 2000 and has since been a popular choice for building various types of applications, including desktop, web, and mobile. Throughout this course, we'll cover the key concepts and features of C Sharp. So whether you are a complete beginner or an experienced programmer looking to add C Sharp to your skill set, you are in the right place. We'll be taking a hands-on approach with plenty of coding examples and practical exercises to solidify your understanding. Now that we have a general idea of what C Sharp is, let's delve a little bit deeper into its history and reasons behind its creation. So C Sharp as it's written stands for or can be pronounced as C Sharp and it was developed by Microsoft as part of the .NET initiative. The language draws its inspiration from C and C++, but it also incorporates features from other languages like Java and DeFi. This unique blend results in a language that is both powerful and easy to learn, making it an excellent choice for developers across different domains. Over the years, C Sharp has undergone several updates and development, and it now plays a crucial role in the Microsoft ecosystem. It is used for a wide range of applications, including building Windows applications, game development with Unity, web development with ASP.NET, and much, much, much more. Now that we've understood the significance of C Sharp, it's time to get our hands dirty and set up the new development environment. There are two popular options for our environment, and these are Visual Studio and Visual Studio Code. Visual Studio is a comprehensive integrated development environment, also called IDEs, that provides a wide array of tools and features for C Sharp development. It offers a rich debugging experience, code refactoring capabilities, and a seamless integration with other Microsoft products, just to mention a few. On the other hand, Visual Studio Code, often abbreviated as VS Code, is a lightweight and versatile code editor that supports C Sharp through extension. It's a popular choice for developers who prefer a more minimalistic environment or work on and Windows platform. Whichever option you choose, you can follow along with this course series. But I will be using Visual Studio Community Edition 2022 for purposes of this demo. So you're gonna just Google for Visual Studio download. Once you do that, you should select the option that takes you to the official Microsoft Visual Studio page. And once you're there, you see that there is community, professional, and enterprise. We are going to use the community one because that's the free one. And that would enable you to do most of the stuff. So just download the installer. And once your installer has been downloaded, you are going to run that. And this will, will start installing the actual installer. But now this is not you installing the Visual Studio itself. We are installing the software that will help us install Visual Studio, not just for the first time, but if we, want, if we have any updates, we are going to use the Visual Studio installer. So this is your Visual Studio install application that we that you're going to use to install Visual Studio. And then once you install that, it will open for the commit edition. What you pretty much need is just the AS, ASP.NET Core Web Development at the top right, top left corner. Though you could uh, add some, but for our purposes, I think we'll just use that and the .NET desktop development. The rest you can always add later. So once you have selected what you need to have in your Visual Studio version, you just click install. So this will start the actual downloading of the Visual Studio, whilst at the same time it will also be installing 
the Visual Studio. And once it finishes the installing process, it will now give us the option to run the Visual Studio application. At this juncture, we are going to launch the application and there's this beautiful interface that comes with it. Then it will start the, the setting up of it into our, into our machine. And finally, it opens up the Visual Studio. And before we start, it's, it's tradition to, to run what we call a, a Hello World application. So what we'll do is we'll create a new project and it will be a console application. So we'll select the console app. Then we're just going to name that test or rather it's called Hello World. You hit next. Uh, now you're gonna set a framework, which we'll talk about in the video, but just, just select seven for now and create the project. It will go ahead and it will scaffold for you things that you need in order for you to run a console application. And what you will see will be the line there that says console dot right line. What that means is you're going to write the, the word hello world to the in to the console. Again, we'll discuss this once we start the the step by step syntax and whatnot. But what what that will do is it will write to the console the word hello world. So just take that as it is right now. Then when, once I run that, it's going to print to the console the word hello world. And you'll see there that we have the word hello world there. And our Visual Studio is running. Before we wrap up this module, I want to take a moment to express my gratitude for all your support. It's your encouragement and enthusiasm that keeps us motivated to create valuable content like this c series. If you find value in the videos we produce and want to contribute to the growth of this channel, please consider sponsoring us on Patreon. By becoming a Patreon, you gain access to exclusive perks like early access to new content, behind the scenes update, and even the opportunity to suggest videos for, for the future. Every little bit helps us continue creating high quality content education for you. And once again, thank you all for joining me on this introductory module to C Sharp. We've covered the course overview, explored C Sharp's fascinating history, and set up our development environment to start our coding journey. In the upcoming modules, we'll dive deeper into the C Sharp syntax, types of the data, control structures, object-oriented programming, and so much more. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the exciting content that's coming your way. Remember, learning C Sharp can open doors to a world of exciting possibilities. And I'm thrilled to be your guide on this adventure. Until next time, happy coding, and I'll see you in the next video.